Boskel won the tip to Freeman. And the Hoosiers go, Sean McDonough, Miniman. If they did not, we'd have a major story on our hands right away. We'd have a problem with Bob Knight. Ricky Moore guarded by A.J. Guyton. Double screen. They can play off the ball. They got the two-point guard mentality. Bosco showing rare aggressiveness to the basket. Nice play by Kevin Freeman. He hustled back to stop Guyton, who missed the banker, and Freeman came down with the rebound. Well, they out hustle him twice now, El Amin and then Freeman. Hamilton, a three that spins out to Bosco, and he has all four points of Patterson short. And the rebound, Ricky Moore, the Huskies with the push. Hamilton lays it in. And too fast right now. And a shooting 25% at the moment, two out of eight from the floor. The runner by LMB. He's so smart. He had the pick there from Bosco. The, the ability it should be Connecticut's ball, but they're giving it to Indiana. Sorry, Bill. So here's this little pick here. Do you think you're just coming this way? Look how smart he is as he's able to set his man up with a little fake of the shoulder and the floater. That's a tough shot, and UConn works hard at those medium range jumpers, eight, ten feet, where you might pull the string a little bit. His first basket. And of course, he has a couple of inches to elevate. Elamine, a long three. A page out of Elijah Allen's book, huh? Pass the because the recipient of the pass catches the ball low and is in position to do something with it rather than to take it down and reset to make a move. Suleiman Juan a miss. Rochamel Jones just off the bench. Elamine feeds Bosco. Glad to saw it coming but couldn't get there in time. And the uh, free ball wound up with Ricky Moore. That's just the... 15th three-pointer made by Lewis this season. He started out very cold. Seven of nine after the one for six start for the Hoosiers. Alameen. He knocks home a three. He's really a gamer. He's got a lot of confidence. Likes to take over games. With the outside shooting. Connecticut way out. Exposing the dribble. Jimenez doesn't shoot often, but perhaps he should more often. He's now 50% for the year from three. 20 out of 40. Jake Voskel answered eight and a half months later after his divorce. So his father traveled another woman, other than the woman he had been married to. Hamilton in the lane. That ball pretty good. Indiana by three. 5.25 left in the first half. Elamine for the tie. He's gone cold. Claimer the offensive rebound. Now Hamilton ties it up. That's the old-fashioned stroke. Almost like Bob Cousy at the standstill. Push shot. Wrecker. Got more in the air. The Indiana Partisans thought Wrecker was fouled. Now it's Freeman laying it in. He got bumped at this end. Rolls to eight for IU. They're getting better. We saw that in Chicago. Six straight points for the Hoosiers. Hamilton with the high arcing three. By Richard Hamilton. Working on Voskel. The shot was short and ripped down by Rochamel Jones. Jones has it back. Goes down the lane and scores. And Connecticut inches within three. With the shorter Rochamel Jones defending. Bad pass by Elamine. Wrecker had it. Great hustle by Elamine to save it in front of the Connecticut bench. Hamilton forced to step inside the line. He gives to Freeman for the dunk. That's one of the few times Indiana stepped up defensively. Didn't get a cover in the rear all during his career at Indiana. And he was a terrific high school player. Stepping up right now. Suleiman Juan with the easy basket with seven. Three and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Great anticipation by Elamine of the Guyton pass. Off to Ricky Moore for the layup that has tied the game. And that is their game. Five years. A nice double on the out of bounds. Nice move by Richard Hamilton to the basket. The game is tied once again. 12 Peoria, Illinois. 
threes and one three-pointer tonight. He was had one in 33 straight games. A straight rim and a dunk by Moscow. Shake the shake, but El Amin pushed everybody baseline. What a strong drive. I was concerned that that did not fall on the floor as it was about to. He I'm saved gonna, it. I wonder if Charlie uh, introduced himself to my wife. <laughs> Tidy some things up. Here's a three from Hamilton. And it was all the double at the other end that started it. Not a good pen. Oh, look at this open floor. Yeah, I think it has to do uh, to a degree with strength. Uh, I think that um, that we get a little bit careless. Colin Elamine hits the runner. He has 15 points. Connecticut's lead is five and 19 points with 13 minutes remaining. It had to go to overtime to win the game. Coach Knight was displeased with the way his team played down the stretch, but pleasantly surprised they got it back together in the overtime. Freeman scores again, and UConn is pouring it on. Nearly midway through the second half, near the MCI Center in Washington, D.C. Sean McDonough, Bill Rafferty, and Andrea Joyce. Second round action in the East Region. The winner goes to the Sweet 16 to play Washington in Greensboro Thursday night. Freeman passed out of the double team to hard net. Bosco one on one with Patterson. Five, chance for three. Well, they talk about his lack of offense. He doesn't touch it enough. He understands what to do once he gets it. The timing was not good on this play, Sean. He had ducked in and had to wait for it to pass a little distance, but the turnaround jumper, pretty pleasing to him, and I'm sure the UConn followers, but I think he can do Once again, the ability to get his hands on the basketball. Under seven minutes left now. Connecticut leads by seven. Hamilton bouncing through the lane. Nice shot. He, he's got some variety. A little spice to his game. Connecticut with the ball on a five-point lead. Elamin. Yes. Got the soft bounce. The jumper a little bit long. It hit the rim. Went up and Vosco. Didn't get the bounce. Tipped and a great hustle to save it by Lewis, but right to Vosco. Then Freeman played it off to Elamine. Hamilton, a huge three. You see they had to stick it in. Unselfish kick, and Hamilton with the dagger. Pick and roll. They get running clock again. The clock down to 10 to shoot. Moore into the corner. Hamilton. Wow. Unbelievable spacing all the way up the sideline. This game of his career, Richard Hamilton, the huge threes down the stretch, our Chevrolet players of the game. Well, means free throw missed. Charlie Miller at the buzzer will not go. Washington wants it to be a half court game. And Connecticut would like it to go up and down. Bosco will control the tip. And the Huskies, Washington version. Sean McDonough. Ricky Moore to Richard Hamilton, the Big East Player of the Year. He's been outstanding in the NCAA tournament. Kevin Freeman. I think McCullough got a piece of that little smooch at the end, but you can see. Underneath, McCullough couldn't find the handle. Moore took it away. Connecticut looks to run. Hamilton lays it in. How about that, huh? Little turn. Tom McCullough's free throw brings Washington within one, but the Connecticut Huskies quickly in transition get the bucket from Ricky Moore. Ranked the Connecticut team among many. The defense best in the Big East in scoring defense this year, averaging under 64 points per game allowed. Jake Bosco in the lane. He's coming off a 31-point, 18-rebound game against Richmond in Washington's second-round victory. Rochamel Jones off the bench, the bounce to the bucket, 4-2. And you can see McCullough just can't be Nearly six and a half minutes in, it's Connecticut by one. Khaled el long with the pull-up. Vosco fortunate to avoid a foul. I got Bob Bender off the bench. Rochamel Jones with the basket for the Huskies of Connecticut. Bad pass, picked off. By Harden, Hamilton running the floor. And Sean, he made that play. He was below the foul line, Richard Hamilton. Scores. You're going to see the great effort now, the ability to get out, and it's all off of defense. Connecticut, just solid understanding. Here's the steal, and Richard, the ability 
to get down the floor. I mean, this makes the break. Otherwise, it's a one-man break and a balanced floor, but just terrific anticipation. Johnson short with it. Long rebound out to Monquenzi Ohio. LME acrobatic. Oh, is that pretty? The open floor, Sean. It's Connecticut's game. The push, the finish, the little kiss, the little guy on fire. Patrick Fenneling with the basket for Washington. His first basket. He's a junior from Dusseldorf, Germany. His two answered by a three by Colin Elodin. Nice dish. Well, it was a seven point Connecticut lead is down to two with 920 left in the first half. Nice hand heads, but it cost him. Family got out. The ball family, his dad Joe played at Tulsa in the early 70s and there's one of that school's all time leading rebounders. They played on four straight state championship high school teams in Texas. Big Jesuit. There's Freeman. Marv Harshman, now 80 years old, here to cheer on the Washington Huskies tonight. Bob Bender called and invited him to make the trip with the team. El Amin from the elbow. This is now even at 31 with 6-12 left in the first half. Now that should teach Jake Vosco, though, to check a guy out further from the rim. He's just too big. Bear in mind, Hamilton, the Big East player of the year, is on the bench. High voltage attack that trip. What did they break apart that 2-2-1? Two, two, that is deep. <laughs> And it hurts. It's a little play to run for him with a little flare. Elamine, the banker. A little kiss. And that's just beautiful. He can play. I want to shoot late enough to get a possible tip, but not let them get a run out. More nice. Bosco the dunk. And Bender upset, I think, over the last one on McCullough. Not that one, but just extraordinary ability with the bounce. A little ecstasy at the end here. Suck him to you in this. Go up strong, Big Jake. And that's one of those other, and you can see Bob Bender saying, okay, let it go. Well, he has reason to be. Impressive that Connecticut could have such a good offensive game when Hamilton is ailing and obviously a little bit off his game. And they are all stepping up just a little bit. Nice little penetration. That didn't look like a little sneezy sniffle. With McCullough. Out the pass. Locked it for Luton. It was not a good pass. A nice play by Moore with the swipe. Hamilton lays it in. Woo. Watch goes down and plays the box and also has the top to cover. Freeman ran into a double team. Good patience by UConn, but now the shot clock is at five. Monquencio Hardnett. Nice read there. The, the two seven-footers together in the starting lineup. We have not seen that in the NCAA tournament. Hamilton, another big three when they needed it most. He had Andrew Klaber in the game for only a moment. He's back on the bench now to be involved in that close out of bounds. Ella Mean. Oh, they seem to have great glass shots. Bob Bender said they needed to do a better job in El Amin. They have, although he's seen a couple of stints on the bench here. Jim Calhoun getting him rest. Foul. Chance for three for Suleiman Wong. Now that's Richard Hamilton at his best. And he knows that they're going to attack him. And on occasion, that suckage ability is going to get people free. You're a good teammate when you love to give it up. And one more time as <laughs> Suleiman gets in position. Draw, drive, and put it to the big fella. Little Hamilton, that's a three. Well, he set it up nicely. And UConn's had difficulty in their half-court offense. They've got to start it a little bit earlier, so they have some options at the end. Well, I mean, we're nowhere near the same player here in the second half. Washington's done a much better job on him defensively. And in particular, there's a little circle play. They haven't run it all game. Shot clock 12. Game tied for the third time. Freeman to break the tie. Blow by Fenley from behind. Hamilton drops it in. Just not quick enough to the basketball. Washington, two big guys in. They got to use a dual high low. Otherwise, it jams it up unless they pick and roll with the bounce. They go for Luton on a double. Donald Watts. That's for the lead. Yeah! Wow. 
stepping up. Nice. Washington leads for the first time in the game. Timeout, Connecticut. 29 seconds left. And they do to El Amin. He likes to dribble drive using a high post pick. Hamilton off the basketball, getting himself sent. One floor shot, try and turn the corner. And spreading the court for El Amin. Ten seconds remaining. El Amin off the Bosco. He was blessed. The shot wouldn't drop.